Hi, I'm Daniel Paluzic. I'm with the VMware Cloud Provider Program. I'm here today to talk about vCloud Availability 3.0, or what I call vCAV 3.0. What's very interesting about vCAV is in the past we've had distinct products that specified certain use cases, either an onboarding, uh, migration, or DR functionality. Well, with vCAV 3.0, we're taking each of these use cases and putting it into a single unified architecture. So let's actually walk through that. If I have an on-prem vCenter from a customer running a couple virtual machines, I have my vCloud environments maybe between Atlanta and Phoenix here, how can I actually integrate vCloud Availability 3.0 and actually perform each of these use cases? So it starts off with a single unified appliance. vCloud Availability 3.0 is a single OVA that actually will deploy each of the different services or roles that are needed to actually operate between an on-prem and also a provider environment. From there, we would then go through a workflow that would actually integrate into the customer's on-prem vCenter, and then securely connect to the vCloud environment and the corresponding vCloud Availability 3.0 appliance. From here, I can start doing onboarding of virtual machines, so either migrate between the on-prem vCenter and bring them over to my org VDC that corresponds to this tenant. I can also provide what I call DR to cloud or DR to C. So the ability to protect these workloads that are on site and protect them to the vCloud director environment. Moreover, all this is managed through a single policy that actually is controlled from the vCloud availability environment. From here, the policy dictates what can the tenant actually do from a RPO or how many protections and also specify that at a very granular level. Uh, moreover, when we talk about DR to cloud, I can actually on protect from on-prem VMs, but I can also protect back down to the on-prem vCenter. So if I have my org VDC and I have a virtual machine that resides in my Atlanta location and I want to protect it down over to my on-prem vCenter, that is fully possible through vCloud availability 3.0. And last of all, now we can also integrate with existing vCloud director environments. So what I can do is then set up a workflow that says, I'm going to take each of these and actually protect them at my Phoenix location. So how do we get started? Uh, go to vcpp.cloud. Uh, you'll find more about vCloud availability 3.0. In the next coming videos, I'll actually talk about the provider setup and also the tenant setup. Thanks.